trying to get his own car. Let him go. They laugh. Morrison then has his face shoved into the concrete with two officers putting their weight on his back and restraining his arms as the backup officers continue to restrain multiple onlookers. Come on. Police open up. What do you want? We just want to talk. Do you have a warrant? Uh, no, but uh, just come outside. We want to talk with you. I don't want to talk. How many of you are there? There's two of us, sir. Go then. Talk to each other. A video out of Detroit is making the rounds on social media, and rightfully so, because what happens later in this interaction to Larry Morrison is appalling, yet sadly not surprising. I'm actually just trying to get the pole out of here. I wasn't even trying to get it open no more. I'm about to call Triple A. Hello. What's your name, boss? Oh, that ain't about to be I'm not telling you my name. I told you I don't answer questions. Okay, sir, you have to tell me your name. I don't have to tell you You nothing. do have to tell I don't have to tell you my name. Am I, you am I under arrest? You're detained right now, yes. No, I'm not. For what? You are. Because of, from what it looks like, you're trying to break right into this car. And, and he telling you this is my car. They telling you this is my car. This is my family, oh. bro. I'm Give not. Give me your name, and I can verify that. I'm not verifying that. Okay. Hey, bro, you ain't got to give him your name. I'm not giving him nothing. I know that. He, I just told him. There was no reason for this stop to escalate to the point that it did, regardless of how combative Morrison appeared. Instead of starting an actual investigation and at least attempting to figure out what was going on, which easily could have prevented this from happening, the officer immediately resorted to demands to follow his orders. Oh. Hey, what the f is you all on? Hey, hey, man, let him go. Hey, he was getting his own. Let him go. Hey, 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 bro, look. Hey, let him go. Let him go. Let him go. They already tried. Let him go. Y'all weak as hell. Y'all weak as hell. Y'all weak as hell. Gordon is there. They laugh. I'm recording y'all. Hey, hey, what's all on? Morrison is then punched and brutalized even more as the officers continue to struggle to put him in cuffs on the front porch of his aunt's house, surrounded by family and friends who watch the entire situation unfold and are backing up Morrison's assertion that he was trying to get into his own car after locking his keys inside. While it's completely understandable why this relative or friend tried to protect Morrison from the officers, it's shocking that he was able to walk away without losing his life or getting arrested, especially since we've seen officers do much worse with far less provocation from a bystander. Hey, stop! Hey, let him go! Hey, let him go! Put this whole ass this trying to get his own car. Let him go! They laugh! Morrison then has his face shoved into the concrete with two officers putting their weight on his back and restraining his arms as the backup officers continue to restrain multiple onlookers. My cousin, that was his own car! You dumb old, That's his own car! You stupid mother! Don't touch me. 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 Don
This is the look of an officer who knows he can't fall back on violating these people's rights anymore, even after Morrison has been taken away from the scene. Local news station WJBK reported the police department's statement on Morrison's arrest once the cell phone camera footage was released, giving the typical cookie-cutter response, saying that an internal investigation has been opened into the officers' actions, with two of them eventually getting placed on administrative leave as the investigation begins. Morrison's aunt, who owns the home where he was brutalized and arrested, told WXYZ that she is obviously upset and confused about Morrison's arrest, while one of Morrison's cousins, who witnessed his arrest, asserts that the whole ordeal could have been avoided if the officers treated Morrison with dignity and respect.